Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we'll be checking out how to do the basic setup of an online store. So in the last video, we have already created an online store. So today, in this video, we'll be adding some products and choose some theme for the store. So without further ado, let's begin. So for the products, we can choose this option. We can give some description. So I'll choose something like uh, children's book. So we'll choose some category here. So it will automatically create some separate separate categories. So I have added like a book. So we will give some price. We can add some discounted price here. So we can basically add the original price and we can add the discounted price here. So it will be like 300, 40 percentage off. We can add some product photos. So I'll choose something like this. We can also upload our own photos. I'll add like maybe two or three photos. So let's give this combo photo and let's add some separate photos here. So let's add this. So maybe we can also rename this to a combo, children's book combo. So that product is already added. So let's add some more products. We can go to this product page and add a new product here. So maybe we can do it like an RC car. Let's add the category like uh, add a new category. So let's add like, something like toys, create category. So it is selected the category toy already. So we can add price something like 9,200 uh, and maybe we can give it to a discounted price of 900. So we can add the product description here something like uh, the size. A battery operated something like that battery operated battery not included you can add the product media here so we'll choose something like this one So let's add the product. So we have added two products here. And now let's uh, go to the page like the appearance. So it is already chosen this uh, matrix theme here. So maybe we can customize it or may maybe we can choose something else. So we can add our uh, shop's logo here. We can remove the show banner. Pro, we can also add promo banners here. We can choose font colors, and this is favicon. Favicon is usually something uh, this one, so we can add our own favicon and uh, name here. So these are the other options. We can add custom CSS, and we can uh, add to back button. So that's it. So now let's maybe review the website. So this will be the website, something like this. So right now this is my URL. We can also buy the pro version of the my Dukan store. So we will get our separate, our own URL. And we already have the categories here, toys and books. And we have the products 
which we have already added so the price will be some uh, price will come like this you can add back by now and the product details will be shown here and the multiple pictures which we have already chosen will show separately here so there is also another option to add products we can also upload products in bulk using this option here called bulk upload products so let's also try that option so we can click here and from this page we have to upload the excel file of the products we have listed in bulk so for that uh, we have to upload here so if you don't know uh, how to list the products in bulk we can download this sample excel file template from this option so we can do that so it will be downloaded here and we can open that in google sheets so for that we will open google sheets and click open and we can upload it by choosing this upload option and we can just drag the file here and this is the sample template so we, as we can see we can list the products uh, name category mrp base price unit and product description like this we can just uh, write uh, whatever products we have we can list them here and we have the category option here so uh, whichever category we have we are looking to create we can add the categories here and also units are available here so if we have separate units we can add units here and so for that I have already created a sample uh, of the template here so these are the products I will be adding in bulk so I have already downloaded that here so so in this page I will add that file which I have already created so let's add the sample file which we, which I have already created so upload so the products which I have added in the excel sheet in bulk is uploaded so let's save and add products so yes as we can see the products are added in bulk so we can also add the product images so we can choose this product media option and we can upload the uh, product picture here so I will be choosing some random samples from here and then we have to click this update button and we can go back so let's add another product image so we will choose the product media and we will add a product image and let's update we'll go back we'll add another one we will go to product media upload done update so I'll just quickly add the product images for the rest of the products
so I have added all the product images so let's just quickly preview the site for that we will go to home and we will click this option so that is how we add products so now let's go back so now let's see how we can change the appearance of the site for that we will go to this option called appearance so as we can see we have a few themes listed here we can choose either one of these so it has already chosen this theme called metrics we can customize it here so these are the available customization options we can add a custom store logo we can also add promo banners then we have fonts and colors so these are the default font and default colors which have already applied so we can change so if you want to change we can choose from either one of these or we can manually change from here then we have favicon favicon is favicon is the image which will be shown here like in the tab we can change the favicon from here and then we have the advanced option here we have the add to bag button and custom css option so now let's preview the website we can click this option so as we have already seen this is the landing page of the website so these are the product categories and uh, these are the products which we have added and uh, this is the website url so if you want a custom url we can go for the pro version so now let's check a product page so this is the product page the product name and product prices are listed here and we can see the multiple images here we have the product description here which we have entered we can also see a similar product category here so that's it for this video in the next video we will dive more into the customization side of the website so we will see you in the next video bye bye